Welcome back to the channel. I'm Ari, and today I'm continuing my journey around Argentina. Dime, cuántas veces me volviste de mente. Ahora sin ti estoy tan solo, no es fácil. Te quiero, baby, hasta que nazca el sol, hasta que nazca el sol. I'm going to show you what it's like to spend a day at an estancia in the countryside and hang out with Argentinian cowboys, or as they're known locally, gaucho. We stopped by at a gas station on the way to town, and this has to be the best, most modern and clean gas station I've ever seen. I don't know if this is standard for Argentina or Buenos Aires or what, but this place is awesome. And the cappuccino is also very good. Not gonna lie, I really needed this coffee to pick me up. It's been an early morning and we still have about an hour to go. We made a surprise little stop at the town center here in San Antonio de Aleco. This is the town where the Estancia is located. We're here for about 15 minutes, gonna show you some of the highlights of this small town in rural Argentina. This is the beautiful town church, founded all the way back in 1790. And if you're not aware, the current Pope is actually from Argentina and there's a poster of him Standing by the entrance. That's interesting. Soon enough, we arrived at the Estancia. After relaxing for a bit and enjoying some of the best beef empanadas I have ever had, we saddled up the horses and went for a ride in the countryside. It was actually a lot of fun. If you've done horseback riding before, it's the same experience you're gonna get anywhere. There wasn't a whole lot of instruction as to what to do. Thankfully, I knew what to do, so it was fine. But yeah, we rid around the ranch for about half hour or so. Beautiful views, very calm, very relaxing, you know, countryside, birds. I enjoyed it a lot. And it was really cool seeing the cows chilling in the background as we were, you know, trotting through and other horses and everything. Good experience. Just finished up horseback riding. The waiters are starting to bring out the food for our delicious lunch that's been prepared here on the Estancia. We are going to have an asado today, which is Argentinian barbecue. <laughs> so no water. <laughs> For our first course, we have a selection of sausages. <laughs> so this one is an intestine, intestine sausage. It's hard. Yeah, not the best. Which one's your favorite? It has a thick, hard exterior and a soft interior. Way too chewy. Which one? I don't know. I think I like the big. The intestine. So you try it? No. The blood sausage did not like that one. The intestine did not like that one. There are two regular pork sausages, a thick one and a thin one. They're very different flavor profiles, but they are they're both pretty good. Especially with the chimichurri sauce, they go very well together. We spent the past hour or so trying many different cuts of meat. We had pork, we had sausages, we had two cuts of beef. Everything was honestly just okay. I had an asado experience yesterday in Buenos Aires. I don't know if the video will post before or after this one. But that one in the city was honestly much better. That was a premium asado experience. Everything was much more flavorful at the location I went to in the city. Uh, this place was not bad, but it was a bit underwhelming. Now it's time for dessert. Yesterday at the asado location in Buenos Aires, I had the dolce de leche ice cream, which was delicious. Here I'm having flan, which I was told is also an Argentinian dessert. I did not know flan was Argentinian, but that's what I was told, so looking forward to giving it a try. Your family is 
This is very good flan with a side of a uh, dolce de leche. I will say the location here is beautiful. We are in the countryside. You can hear the birds chirping, cows mooing, and there is no sign of a cars to be had anywhere. And it's just a very peaceful, relaxing environment. So 10 out of 10 in terms of the overall vibe here. <laughs> just wrapped up that musical performance and awesome dancing show. The guachos behind me are now getting ready to do a horse presentation of some kind. They call this guy the Horse Whisperer. Don't know what that's about, but let's see. I think I can objectively say that was a very, very cool horse demonstration. And that is why this guy is known as the Horse Whisperer. And this is why we travel so much, right? To experience new experiences, new cultures, new customs, and to expand our minds. Like, I would never know that a horse would respond that way to a human, but apparently they can, and now I know, and I've seen it, and I'm happy I came here. I think the horse show, the dancing, the music kind of makes up for the disappointing food. So overall, this was a fun experience. About an hour and a half, two hours outside of Buenos Aires, you can visit this Estancio. I had a great time, and that horse demonstration was so, so, so cool. And with that, it's time to say goodbye to the Argentinian countryside and head back to the city. Well, I made it back to Buenos Aires just to the sun is setting. If you guys enjoyed this video, you can really help me out by leaving a comment down below and subscribing to my channel. I hope I see you in the next episode as I continue my travels around Argentina.